Namaste, everyone. Welcome. This is Donna from Palai Center. My spiritual name is Rani, and we welcome you with love to day three of Skanda Shasti, the six days of Muruga. In this session, we will learn about this profound time. We will chant and meditate with enlightened master, Dr. Baskarin Palai. Muruga is the embodiment of divine intelligence, wisdom, and perfection. Although he is the fullness of love and compassion, he is still a fierce warrior. According to mythology, Surapadman was a demon who obtained many boons and became quite powerful. He started oppressing even the gods. Now, as directed by his parents, Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati, Muruga led an army of celestial beings against the demon forces. A fierce battle took place, which ended on the sixth day when Lord Muruga and his psychic weapon, the veil, completely defeated Surapadman and his evil forces. It's during this time each year that Lord Muruga is very close to the earth plane. He can not only diffuse our bad karma, with the use of his whale, his lance, but he can also open our third eye. Once the third eye is open, then our ability to do miracles increases. Here is a video from Dr. Pillai talking about that and the significance of Muruga in these six days. Today, miracles are out of our reach. They are in the domain of God, not in the human domain. But once we are in the midbrain, we have access to it. We will think very differently. We will not be caught up in logic and wait forever or accept a disease, old age and death as part of human uh, living. No, that's not true. We, are, we, we don't have to be suffering from birth till death. We can live differently. Like Paul said, in the wink of an eye, the body will turn into light. That's the time that we require to change. And that change can happen only when you are able to activate the midbrain. Now the midbrain is by and large completely inactive. And when that becomes active, then the human becomes the divine. Then miracle becomes quite a normal happening. And we are all capable of that. We only know theoretically that energy and matter are one and the same, but then we are stuck in this material world. And my purpose of being here on this earth plane to facilitate this process, the process of human evolution. It's not, we have, right now we have been spending all our time to make more money, to derive some pleasure from you know, sense enjoyments, including relationship. But it is all going to uh, be very short lived. And that's not the purpose of life. The purpose of life is total freedom, not economic, just economic freedom or political freedom but the freedom from matter, material existence, freedom from ignorance. And that alone is worthwhile for us to pursue, not money, not relationship, not temporary joy. And that is the message of Muruga too, because he's the God of the third eye. And Muruga is a little bit more aggressive than the Buddha. This is the time that he knows that he has to fight against ignorance. And this is the time, the six days of Muruga. He is literally involved in fighting ignorant forces. That's why meditation during this time is very important. We all have demons that we fight. Our negativity, our poverty, our feelings of unworthiness, our poor health. Muruga can destroy these types of demons, revealing our true nature of divinity, fullness, and bliss. And in our celebration today of Skanda Shasti, 
we will call upon Murga and receive the benefits of this sacred power time with him. Now Dr. Pillai will lead us in a chant and meditation, connecting us to Lord Murga through his mantra. Now in this meditation, Dr. Pillai will change the configuration of the syllables of the mantra Sarahana Bhava to Vasarahana Ba. And through this configuration, we can harness the victorious power of Muruga and his whale. Let's begin. Vasarahanaba 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 will remove negativity of all kinds. It will remove your diseases, it will remove discomforts at all levels, it will remove pain, suffering, it will put an end to all unpleasant things in your life. Sarahana Bhava is the first version and Vasarahana Bhava is the last version. Vasarahana Bhava Vasarahana Bhava Vasarahanaba. Each time you say that Vasarahanaba produces nuclear power and it will go into your body, mind, and soul and cleanse you. Vasarahanaba. Vasarahanabha 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 enters the all over the body through the pores in the skin. Vasarahanaba will enter into your body with incredible light, with incredible power to diffuse your karma, to diffuse your diseases, discomforts, deep sorrow in the heart, hopelessness, all this will be diffused. Vasarahanaba 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 
Now, close your eyes, open your heart, and ask to feel the presence of Lord Muruga. Ask him to perform a miracle for you tonight. Lord Muruga, come, come, fight my demons tonight. I lay at your feet my demons of negativity, of my poverty, my fear. 
destroy my feelings of unworthiness, my poor health, fight my demons, vanquish my demons. Free me from my attachment to matter. Free me from my ignorance. In humble gratitude, I pray your sacred mantra tonight. Vasarahanaba. Open my third eye tonight so that I may see who and what I really am and express that divinity in every thought, word, and action. Make a final prayer now, a prayer of gratitude for the blessings that Lord Muruga has showered upon you tonight. Slowly and gently, you can begin to come back to yourself now. If you wish to continue to meditate, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, you can end the meditation. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. Thank you for joining us tonight. During this time of Skanda Shasti, if you wish to do a ritual, if you have a veil, you can do an abhishekam, a ritual bath. You can honor Lord Moriga by pouring milk, orange juice, or even just water over the veil is fine. Lord Moriga particularly loves goat milk. And if you don't have a veil, you can use a picture of a veil. You can light a candle and wave the light to the veil or to a picture or statue of Lord Moriga while repeating his mantra, Vasada Hanaba. You can also offer food and flowers, sweets. His color is red. Also, although the six nights of Muruga initiations with Dr. Pillai have begun, you can still jump in for the remaining initiation sessions. Or if you like, you can just attend the final night, the night of victory. For more information, you can look in the description area underneath this video box. Click on Show More and it will open the window up for you to retrieve the information and give you more details about how you can join in and receive initiations from Dr. Pillai at this very, very powerful time. We offer our heartfelt gratitude to enlightened master, Dr. Baskaran Pillai, and to Lord Muruga for all of the blessings we've received tonight. We thank you for joining us. We hope you can join us for tomorrow's session as we continue our celebration of Skanda Shasti, the six days of Lord Muruga. Until then, God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Namaste. <laughs>